Hi there, Nick Hill here. If you're in business, there's um, a few tasks in the workplace that um, certainly when people begin to think about them, they get what we'd class as funny internal sensations inside. And I'm talking about stuff like making sales calls, having to pick up that telephone and call contacts that maybe you've not spoken to before. And it is a key skill that can be learned and there are a number of things that contribute to those internal sensations that you might feel about um, making sales calls. Let's just get a few things straight first. Number one, not sure what to say, not sure how to handle questions, don't know enough about your business to be able to competently demonstrate the core benefits or purpose behind what it is that you do as an organization. Couple that with a fear of rejection, or on the other hand, a reluctance to actually pick up the telephone. And for the majority of people who are involved in these types of situations, certainly a combination of honing your um, skills in presenting your own information, i.e. what you do for a living and how you can benefit organizations, adds to enabling people to feel more confident about making sales calls. On the other hand, some people do have genuinely, um, well, have genuine fears in relation to uh, picking up the telephone. And it's not the most, um, how can I say this, uh, desirable task for people in business. But there are some really, really cool techniques out there that will allow you to desensitize any feelings that you might have associated with the task that when you actually reduce the intensity of the feelings associated with things like making sales calls that they will allow you to approach it with a different frame of mind a different feeling different level of performance as a result of that and um, as a result of, of doing that it does make the task of generating those relationships easier So, okay, so we're here with Stuart Emery of PPV Computing. Um, Stuart, just talk to me about a context at work that you find challenging, something that maybe when you think about it or a, a job or task that you do that you get feelings that might be classed as counterproductive. What would that be? Um, I guess pretty much like everybody else, it'd be the cold sales calls that you've got to make when you've got to pick up the phone and start doing that. Okay, so cold sales calls. Don't yeah. like picking up the phone, all that sort of stuff. Okay. So, just close your eyes for me for a minute. Okay. What I want you to do in your own time is just allow your mind to generate the image that it generates when you think about you making sales calls. And just allow yourself to do that. And when you've got the image, just let me know. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Colour or black and white? Um, Colour. Moving or still? Still. 3D or 2D? 3D. Okay, is the image in a frame or is it panoramic? Um, I'd say in a frame. Okay, do you just want to reach out and touch the image? I know that sounds a bit weird, but just reach out and touch the image. Um, quite close. Okay, quite close to you. And just run your fingers around the edge of the frame if you could do that. Are you looking at yourself or is it as if you're there through your own eyes? Um, looking at me. Okay, fine. So what word when you look at this image and concentrate on the image, what word describes how you feel in this situation? Um, well, stomach's getting pretty tight, for lack of a I'm thinking about this image. Um, quite nervous, bit sweaty palms sort of thing. Nervous and sweaty palms. And can you just point to where that feeling is inside you right now? So it's right here. Yeah, okay, fine. No problem at all. What I want you to do in a moment is, you said that this, I'm just going to take your hand if that's all right, and you said that this image was quite close to you about here. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you just push it away at a rate that's good and enough for you to do that? Just push it away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe about there. Okay, and you can just leave that there and just put your hand down in your own time. Okay. What word describes now how you feel about this situation? Um, not as nervous for some mm, reason. Not as nervous for some reason. So it's like some smaller like aspect wise. Seem smaller. So if you were just going to use one word to describe how you feel right now, now that image has moved away, what word would it be? One word. Quite relaxed. 
quite relaxed, that's okay. Good, quite relaxed, okay. So you just gotta trust me for a minute right now. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get that image that's over here now. You can see that image, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, just want you to flip closer and back towards you. Okay, so there. What word describes how you feel now? Quite nervous. Quite <laughs> nervous, okay. So let's just push that image away. And maybe you can shove that right off into the distance. Right off into the distance. Maybe the size of a thumbnail, right on the horizon. You got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, what word describes how you feel right now? I'm relaxed again. Relaxed. Okay, so you can leave that there, leave that on the horizon. Just open up your eyes. Okay. How long have you worked here? Um, two years. Two years. Okay, no problem at all. So by changing the dimensions of the image, and in Stuart's case, just pushing it a bit further away, he was able to change the sensation that he associated with making sales calls. I would say that the feeling that he had here, which by language he described as nervous, has changed because he said that he feels relaxed now and that relaxation feeling would be in a completely different place. So that's how you minimize any sensations with cold calling quickly and easily. So you can see in that short clip that just by playing around with these um, memories that we generate, and don't get me wrong, I mean, this is one of the basic techniques within um, you know, change management toolbox or, or NLP or, or whatever you want to call them. Um, obviously, these are quick and easy techniques that will allow those who um, practice enough to develop the skills to remember or create these images. And, you know, I don't want to make this difficult or, or anything. Some people often say to me, yeah, but Nick, you know, this image, it's, you know, it's not crystal clear or anything like that. You know, that's absolutely fine. The mind will generate images in whatever form or um, state that it can do so. Um, it doesn't matter whether they're massive or small or you know really far away or, or really close in Stuart's case. Um, by playing around with some of the different variables associated with them, the distance, the size, increase and decrease size, move forwards and, and away, to um, you know, find out which one causes the sensations to change. And you'll be able to recognize whether it's worked or not because by language, i.e. how you describe the feeling, you should get a different word to the one that originally described the feeling. So go ahead and play with the techniques. You know, Think about the image that your mind generates when you think about sales calls. And then either make it smaller, push it off in the distance, maybe change it from color to black and white. Um, you know, the metaphor I'd use to describe how you can use these techniques on your own is think about you've got a TV remote control in your hand and uh, just like you can increase and decrease color saturation, size of screen, brightness of image and you know, you could have the TV right up in front of you or you could push it and put it off in the distance, play around, see what results that you get. You can't hurt yourself. And just like I showed you with Stuart, you can put things away and you can pull them towards you. And I just wanted to demonstrate on that, that um, you know, by pushing it away, it caused him to feel more relaxed. By pulling it back towards him, it put him back in his original state. Well, I did that because if you don't get the result that you're looking for, i.e. you feel worse or, or, or not as good as you did, you can always change these things back to the range or, or location in which you started with that image. So go ahead and play and enjoy the results and look forward to making sales calls easy now.